Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Stern. Welcome to My Men. And it's really time to get under your skin. When I was very, very little, my mom took me to the hospital with her. And I was walking through the rooms with her visiting patients. And I thought, oh my God, this is what I want to do when I'm older. So when I was four years old, I decided to become a doctor. And it never, ever changed. I never changed this path. And my grandmother was a pharmacist. And I saw her mixing creams and ointments, you know, and I grew up in the in the DDR. There was nothing, you know, there you had to come up with formulations yourself because there wasn't like a broad, you know, assortment for 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 anyone. So I saw my grandma really mixing creams and um, you know, things for when you when you had a cold or whatever it was, um, using medicine herbs from from the mountains i came into this beauty world because i couldn't find a product on the market and it was very weird to me because there are all these brands they have big marketing promises you know you have all this beautiful packaging and luxurious and you can spend all the money in the world and it still doesn't help your skin <laughs> and this was like mind-blowing to me is so that how can can these big companies not come up with something which works actually or how is that possible i literally tried everything on the market at the time yeah and then i also thought you know skin shouldn't be just treated as a playground for marketing you know it should be treated like an, as an organ and i was when i was looking at the ingredients in skincare products i was shocked i was like wow first of all i don't want mineral oils on my skin i don't want fragrances on my skin and then you know, there are trendy ingredients like glycolic, like retin-A, retinol, which have been out there over 30 years ago and went away and they came back. Yeah, skin is an organ and everybody knows it's our largest organ. And you see, every organ has a function and skin clearly has a fa function of outside protection. So we, you know, don't want to let viruses, bacteria, whatever into our inner system and to the outside, there's the function of thermal regulation, sensors, wh whatever it is there are like very, very big tasks our skin has to do. And this protection task obviously is presented by the outer layer, which is the skin barrier. Yeah. And the skin barrier consists out of dead skin cells, a hydrolipid film and um, a microbiome. And we all know microbiomes in our gut and you know how to treat it. And, you know, we know a lot about it, but we don't necessarily know that there's a microbiome on our skin. And these are also bacteria, viruses, fungus, parasites. They live there in, as a biotope, you know, and they're, it's perfect. This is what our skin needs. But then, you know, if we use ingredients which are aggressive, and this could be only alcohol, let's say alcohol and skin here, or um, mineral oils or fragrances, it disturbs our microbiome and therefore our skin barrier. This is just a lighter version. If you use things like retinol, retin-A, it takes completely your skin layer off. I mean, that's done with like anything living on your skin. You just acid it off, you know, and there you make your skin so vulnerable, like your skin basically has no defense system. And then your dermatologist tells you, use sunscreen every day, every night, every morning. It's like sunscreen is not the most healthy ingredient you can find in your skincare products. But obviously because we're destroying our skin barrier every day, every minute we need to protect from the sun but then you know if you think we need to protect from the sun why not protecting us from pollution and hgv light the light from the computer same aggressive like the sun but nobody thinks about the screen protection yeah so i created this product anti-pollution drops which basically creates a shield on your skin to block out the hgv light and the pollution the pollution causes cystic acne pigmentation inflammation yeah so with those retinols or glycolics or whatever um you kind of want to take or fix things you make actually worse in the in the long term yeah the two things i i would recommend for people to really look into number one don't think you need to aggressively target your skin in order to have an effect so don't scrub your face off with like acid peels whatever don't think you need to burn and be like red for 10, 10, 10 weeks or whatever, you know, have your face burned off with lasers, whatever, in order to have like a positive effect. I think the goal is never to 
harm your skin. Always heal and repair, heal and repair. That means stay away if possible from lasers, from glycolic, hydroquinone, retinol, retin-A, like all those acid peels, very, very um, harmful for your skin. Aggressive, aggressive, and it won't give you what you're looking for. So that's my one advice. And the, you know, the marketing machinery is really promoting it. But I tell you, people who create acid peels, they don't use it themselves. Beauty journalists, lists, I never, I never much see them ever. You know, you know, when I ask them, they don't use it. It's not, you know, people are who learn a little more about it, they don't use it. So also quite interesting. So it's marketing and a sales point. And yeah, don't follow these trends. And the other thing I want to say, I know with Instagram, it's nice to show your bathroom with like all these kind of different bottles, colors, and you know, you have your self-curated skincare routine. I would recommend you trust one brand, you know, and you go with one brand. If you want to try Sturm, try to get, even if it's just two, three products, but stick to it because then you see your whole skin transformation if you if you try to mix it up you know different products from different brands i don't think it will work i don't think it will you know satisfy you in the same way and i think that is a common mistake these days we have like so many good things coming from the sun um, it's important for our vitamin D production, our bones, our immune system, our respiratory tract, our mental health. I mean, without the sun, we had a hard time, would have a hard time to exist. So yeah, depends where you are in this world. Um, obviously, um, when we go out in sun, and that's what I'm saying, you know, I use sun protection. Do I use it um, 24-7? No. Do I use it when I'm in London? No, I don't because I use my own sun protection in in my skin but you know if there's um the sun out in london and i go through the park yeah maybe i just put a head on or whatever but maybe also use sunscreen you have to balance it you know now when you're young um stay away from everything you know which is aggressive especially when you're young you know when you're in, <laughs> in your teenage years and you go to any store and get the glow pads or whatever they're called which is just basically glycolic you destroy your skin so i think in general that is um one advice i would give then also another advice um especially also for a younger generation who experience breakouts and cystic acne never dry out your skin dry skin is never an option dry skin will age you will um, destroy your skin barrier function will make you break out if you have dry or dehydrated skin you've got to fix it yeah um and my products are all hydrating this is my my thing you know because i i kind of cracked the code for hydration and it's often underestimated the importance of hydration it's important for supporting your skin barrier function yeah so and it helps um, with anti-aging so hydration is a big 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 rule in skincare we need hydration in our skin and then when you're older you should go into like ingredient science you know and you go for exosomes you know which are these little particles of stem cells which carry your mrna um, which carry mrna to you know have healthy cell replication upgrade your skin with healing support like you know these exosomes and growth factors which are in ex my exosomatic line i think when you hit a certain age this is what you need to do you need to go for my super anti-aging um line as well just because you know it gives ingredient science to support all the 360 angles of aging and skin degrading you know through aging i love everyday fresh so i'm I'm someone I'm going from one day to the next. I'm not planning much ahead. So I, I I I love to enjoy the day. I have, you know, most of the nights I have pepper with me in bed in this one. Um and it's nice to wake up um with this little one next to me. And you know, I love to to work. For me, work is my passion, so I don't even feel like I'm working. I'm just, you know, doing the things I love. And you know, I have like an amazing team. It's just like my family as well and so we're having fun doing doing like 
you know, changes to the beauty industry, I feel like we kind of do, you know, I don't want to, you know, you know, make myself too important here because uh, this is the last thing I want. But I feel like, you know, we're, we're doing our best to, to bring more knowledge into, you know, the skincare world and, you know, hopefully, hopefully, We'll, we'll make that change and get those aggressive ingredients away, you know.